Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. <sighs> How do I even start this? As you probably saw by the title, today I'm doing an unboxing video and yeah, we're unboxing the Apple Watch that I bought the other day. So let me give you like a whole backstory. It's not really a whole backstory, but still. All right, so I've been wanting an Apple Watch for, let's see, one, two, three, four, almost four years now, all right? I first wanted an Apple Watch when the Series 2 came out, and I didn't get one because I just didn't. I wanted an Apple Watch for like a really, really long time, and yesterday, I finally got the chance to get one. Well, actually, it was like, it was Friday, so two days ago. Two days ago, I got the chance to get one. So what I did was, I've been saving up my money for quite a while. I purchased the Apple Watch Series 4, 44 milliliter, space gray, black sports fan. Oh my gosh, this is so much. And I got the GPS and cellular version because I was under the impression that I would be able to hook it up to my phone and it would just like, automatically sync to my wireless plan and I could just have data on it. Well, um, that was pretty stupid of me because now that I think about it, nothing in this life is free. So um, I ended up, after I bought it and everything, I brought it home and I opened it up and everything. And then I realized that I would have to pay $10 extra every month to have the data on it. And I was like, not happening. I called Best Buy and I was like, hey, I'm sorry, there was a misunderstanding between which type of Apple Watch I should get and I bought the one that I didn't want. So, is there any way that I could exchange the one I have now and get the same one but without cellular, which would end up being $100 cheaper and then could I get that $100 back? And they were like, yeah, sure, absolutely. So that's what I did. So yesterday we went back to Best Buy and I exchanged the one with cellular for the one with just a GPS and no cellular. And they gave me my $100 back. So that is pretty cool. And thank you very much Best Buy for doing that for me. I really appreciate it. All right, so <clears throat> since I didn't do an unboxing video on that first Apple Watch I had, now that I have a second chance at unboxing an Apple Watch, I figured I would take it. So, we're gonna unbox the Apple Watch Series 4 Space Gray, 44 milliliters with a black sports fan and GPS only. That is a mouthful, guys, you do not understand. All right, so, here it is. This is what it looks like. All right, and it has a little pull tab on it. And I don't know about y'all, it's like the most satisfying thing ever when you get to like pull this open, you know? I'm gonna lift this up and um, I'm gonna make sure to do it properly this time because I actually had my best friend Madison Allen to unbox my Apple Watch, the other one I had. I had her unbox it for me and I told her not to rip the box and within five seconds she had ripped the box. Which way does it go? Okay, got it. It opens up. Oh my gosh, I'm just gonna get rid of this because it's not time for that yet. It unfolds like this, in case you didn't know. It looks like that on the inside. I just got out the pool like 30 minutes ago, so my eyes are probably blood red and it looks like I'm hot, but I promise you I'm not. So, all right, so this is the goodie. So, okay. Oh my goodness, it smells so good. I got the black sports fan. It's, all right, it opens like a regular box, I think. You open it up and it has all these instructions and stuff on it that I don't really need because I already found out all the instructions last time. You get the band you want and you just kind of just peel it out of the box like that. I like to have it like tighter on my wrist because I can't stand it whenever there are like loose things flapping around on my wrist. And then I'm just gonna put the rest of this back into the box because I won't be needing this. These are the two pieces.
pieces, smaller piece goes on the top and then the longer piece goes on the bottom. And this is where the good stuff is, the box. This is what it looks like. And it opens up like every other Apple box, except that was really smooth. And you have, you have some things inside the box, obviously. So you have some instructions, but I don't, oh my gosh. And then you have the charger brick, charging brick. You have the charger, of course, that goes with the charging brick. And then you have the Apple Watch. Comes like in a little soft case that's made out of felt, I think, maybe, I don't, y'all, I don't know. And you can push it out like a popsicle. I'm gonna get the watch band. I'm gonna slide it in. Felt it like click into place. So I'm assuming that's what it's supposed to do. Yeah. This is what it looks like. Now we're gonna set it up. So there's a little scanner thingy on the back that can scan like your heart rate. It can do an EKG scan. I think that's what it's called. The speakers on the side and right here is the spinny knob thingy. I don't know what it's called. And then right here is like the button that does different stuff. It's the power button, it is the emergency button, and it's like, it's the multitask feature. I think, y'all, I don't know what I'm doing. It's popping up a message in different languages. It's telling me to hook my phone up. I'm gonna get my phone. I'm gonna go to the Apple Watch app and I'm gonna press start pairing. It's gonna pull up like the camera like this. And it's gonna get me to scan. It's gonna get me to scan the little moving design thing that is on the Apple Watch. So when it scans, it says your Apple Watch is paired. It says set up Apple Watch and it's gonna go to all the wrist preferences. So it asks you, are you gonna wear it on the left or the right hand? I'm right handed, so I'm gonna put it on my left hand. Terms and conditions that everybody agrees to, but nobody ever reads. Signing into your account it says this may take a few minutes. Well, that's loading. It has this little thing popped up on the Apple Watch with the information on it. It shared the settings over from my phone to my watch. You press OK. It's going to get you to create a password. A little pad, number pad, will show up on the Apple Watch and you can make a password. So it tells you that the Apple Watch can uh, scan your heart and do all that fancy health stuff. So you press continue. It'll ask you about Apple Pay if you want to set that up, which I don't. I'll tell you about the emergency systems where you can hold it down and call 911. It'll give you the option to install different Apple Watch apps, which I'll do later. And then it says that the Apple Watch is syncing. So. Okay, so while you're doing that, different things pop up on the Apple Watch. It has a little loading thingy magic telling you how much longer it is until it's done. And then while you're doing that, it has different it has different options for it's like a startup tutorial on how to use the Apple Watch basically. So it talks about the display, how to use it, it's a touch screen, blah blah blah. The crown, that's what it's called, the digital crown. So you can do that to zoom in and out, you can hold it to talk to Siri, and you can turn it to scroll through stuff. It talks about the side button, so you can do that to show the dock, double click for Apple Pay, and press and hold for emergencies, or you can press and hold to turn it off. You better edit that out. Yes. Mm -hmm. I will break your camera. Go shut the door. Yes. Go shut the door. I'm going to go in and tell Mama, and whenever you get all that stupid stuff taken away, not my fault. Aw, oh, you're a jerk. Don't slam doors. Carolina, I was just joking, I promise. Now it says that the Apple Watch is done syncing and another screen comes up that says, welcome to the Apple Watch app. It tells you about the watch, the face gallery, and the app store. Now, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna pick a face because that's just what I wanna do. You go to the face gallery right there and you can choose from all these different faces some of them move and all that stuff i'm gonna pick 
the Mickey Mouse one. With the Apple Watch faces, you can like choose the different like icons that pop up on the main screen like of the clock. So right here it has like the top left and I'm gonna have the date. And then the top right, I'm gonna have the weather. So it shows me the temperature. This is what the face is gonna look like right there. And then I'm gonna press add and it says it's sent to my watch. Voila. If you click the crown, it's going to send you to the home screen, I think. I think that would be the home screen. And it has all the different apps. There's Find My Friends, the camera app to where you can click the shutter button from your Apple Watch, weather, calendar, the phone, reminders, maps, because this one has GPS, the Breathe app. Every once in a while, it'll like send you a notification if you set it up. That will give you a reminder to take some deep breaths and help relax and remove stress from your life. The workout app where you can put in the different workouts and all the nutrition stuff. Email, alarm clock, world clock, regular clock, timer, and stopwatch. The walkie-talkie which you can set up with like friends and family to where you turn your walkie-talkies in. You turn your Apple Watches basically into walkie-talkies and you can like talk to each other like through it. The activity thing which calculates the different activities, calories you've lost, all that kind of stuff throughout the day. And then there's messages, the news app, the wallet, photos. It'll show you all the pictures that are in your favorites folder on your iPhone. And then the EKG scan. I'm pretty sure it's EKG. Correct me if I'm wrong. The music app, podcast, Apple radio, heart rate, the remote. I really don't know what the remote would control, but there's an app called Remote. And then, of course, the settings for the Apple Watch. And, oh, something cool that I think is so cool. If it's off like this and then you raise it, it will turn on. Is that not the coolest thing ever? But then, as if it can't get any more cool, once it's on and say you're doing something and you want it to turn off, and it turns off, all you gotta do is just don't hit it of course. I'm gonna read off all the technical stuff about this Apple Watch. There's an all new design. It has one of the largest Apple Watch, well the largest Apple Watch display out of them all. Proactive health monitor so it can scan your heart. Y'all, I've been saying EKG this entire time and it is ECG. I'm so sorry. So, for all of you people who knew that, I apologize. It has fall detection, so if it scans, it can like pick up vibrations, I guess, that like pick up that you fell or something. Then it'll like call 911, I guess. Emergency SOS, cellular, which is $10 extra a month on phone plans most phone plans. There's multiple different bands you can get. You can get a sports band. You can get uh, shiny looking bands. There's Hermé bands. There's all different types of bands you can get. That's, I think that's it. Yeah. It has GPS on it, so you can like hook up to your phone and help you, help send you directions if you're going somewhere. All right, well, that is, that was a lot, guys. That is the Apple Watch Series 4. I hope that if you were debating on whether or not to get an Apple Watch, this was able to help you decide. But if not, then sorry. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know I don't do unboxing videos a lot, and actually my last unboxing video was the least successful video I've ever made on my YouTube channel, but it's okay, it's okay guys. I just figured that since it was a really cool purchase for me, I figured I would do it. Just in case y'all thought it was cool, maybe, I don't know. So, um, I hope you liked this video, even if you didn't. And if you did as well, make sure to give it a thumbs up, comment, comment Mickey Mouse if you made it this far in the video. Be sure to like and subscribe, and leave a comment down below on if you want me to do any other type of video. Jesus loves you a lot. He really does love you. And, um, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Okay, bye. Bye. Hello everybody, welcome back. I know you thought it was the end of the video, but psych, it's not. So, I just wanted to give one more disclaimer. Hold on, let me turn the air conditioner down. Apple Watches, something I quickly found out is that um, 
you need a screen protector on your Apple watches, okay? So if you get an Apple watch, you need to get a screen protector, okay? Because all the videos that you just saw were filmed on Sunday the 16th. Three days later, I was at the pool and um, this happened. So um, yeah, make sure you get a screen protector, all right? And also make sure you get Apple Care because if you think that you're trustworthy and you're responsible and you can handle things, well, you can't. So um, get Apple Care. We're going to Best Buy right now. We're getting the screen replaced. As you can see, it busted glass off the corner cracked all the screen around it yeah it's pretty bad so that was just from one drop you need to get apple care and the screen protector all right so um we're going to best buy and i'll see you there it's all good now it was sent off to apple and they're gonna fix it and send it back to me. Okay, so now the video is over. Jesus loves you, bye.